to a Long Island flounder, right? So we call it blackback flounder. This is the flounder that made flounder great. Yeah, the first thing we did is we removed the bone structure on the outside here. It's not good to eat. Yeah, so we're just gonna remove the black side of the skin. The dark side of the skin has a scale, so we peel it off. The, the white side of the skin has no scales. We're gonna serve the white side of the skin to eat. We cut it so we leave the skin on the head so you can tell what it still is. And then we came back around the other side. We trimmed off all the belly. Cut out all the gaga, remove the gills of the fish. And this technique is done so that you can eat the fish whole. Now we're, now we're gonna take the fish up into the kitchen, we're gonna bake it home. We're gonna do my favorite way to eat fish. I call it the Long Island style. We're gonna season the fish up good first. Salt, pepper, a little bit of olive oil, fresh lemon. That's gonna be our sauce. We're actually gonna make the sauce and everything right in the pan. I don't cook with a whole lot of butter, but if you're gonna eat flounder, you gotta have a little butter. We're gonna do breadcrumbs. It's important that you get a little bit of the breadcrumbs on the fish. You want a little bit in the sauce. It's gonna help make the sauce. We're gonna hit it with another little drizzle of oil on the top. It's gonna help the breadcrumbs bake nice. A little dollop on the top. You could put a nice sprig of parsley or two right into the sauce. We'll give it a little bit of flavor. If you want, you can do oregano or tarragon or rosemary. Whatever you have growing in your garden. We're gonna go over to the oven. A drop of water, just so we have enough liquid that when it cooks, we're left with a little bit of juice in the bottom. And we're gonna pop it into the oven. Voila. It's gonna take about 10 minutes in the oven. If we look at the fish, I wanna make sure the fish is tender on the bone. All right, our sauce looks good. All right, let it rest for two or three minutes. And then just put the whole pan right on the, in the middle of the table. Serve it with a spoon and you get some of the sauce. Look at that, man, it comes right off the bone, man. It's gonna be nice and golden brown on the top. It's gonna be succulent, moist to me. Even after cooking fish professionally for over 30 years, there's still no better eating fish than a true Long Island flounder.